ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಪ್ತೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಪುತ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇದಿಸಿ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಹರಿಯೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಲಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಸೀನ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ನರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಡಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮವಂತ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗಂಗಾ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಉಮಾ while ganga turned herself into a sacred river flowing in the swargaloka as well as the martyaloka that is on the earth and also into the nether worlds into the patala loka while uma being an ascetic she married rudra and became responsible for the birth of kumara swami and then vishwamitra turned into a new story that is related to king sagara which of course once again takes us back to the story related to ganga and how she arrived on the earth sri vishwamitra in dental accents related this story to sri ramachandra and then again addressed him saying in ancient times there lived a king named sagara who ruled in ayodhya he was brave and virtuous and a lover of his subjects that he has he was without issue it means he was not having any children and naturally since he was the ruler of ayodhya he happens to be one of the forefather in the lineage of rama because he also belongs to the same ikshwaku dynasty The name of his chief queen was Keshini, a daughter of King of Vidarbha. He was virtuous and truthful. His second queen was Sumati, a daughter of Aristanemi, and she was calmly and charming. The king went to the Himalayas and engaged in severe yogic practices in the forest of Bhrigu Prashravana. when he had completed a hundred years of ascetic practices the ever truthful maharshi bhrigu was pleased with him and favored him with a boon he said o sinless king you shall get my many sons and your fame will be immeasurable from one of your queen shall be born one son and from the other 60000 sons when the queens heard of the boon granted by the rishi they approached him saying o knower of god we are certain that your boon will bear fruit please tell us therefore which of us will get one son and who will get 60000 sons during their words the highly virtuous bhrigu said that depends on your desires tell me which of you would pain to be mother of the founder of the dynasty i mean the will be the continuer of the dynasty will be the heir to the throne and who will desire who desire to get 60000 illustrious sons oh mama queen kaisini desired to be favored by one son only atsumati the sister of garuda and the boon of bearing 60000 powerful and illustrious sons o prince the king offered salutations to the rishi bhrigu and with his consorts returned to the capital when the time was ripe the chief queen kushini gave birth to a son who was called samanjasa who great one Gold was brought forth by Queen Sumati. It means like an ash god or other of these things. Gold was brought forth by Queen Sumati from which when opened 60,000 male implants emerged. Manasas placed them in jars full of butter or actually ghee and tended them. For a long time they attained to the state of adolescence and then grew to manhood. Even getting 100 sons or even getting 60,000 sons looks a little bit ridiculous. Here there is a good technology that is existing today. It is not impossible. It is actually the technology of cloning. Though it has not been done on the human beings, it has 
experimented on other animals king western cell after on uh, any particular species an exact replica uh, of the same species can be created species can be created through this technology of cloning but requiring a uh, bug well, i mean requiring the sperm and the eggs it, it is to reproduce the offspring look at her in is observed that she delivered a gold is just a mass and that mass may be divided in some place in 60000 pieces actually there are more than 60000 pieces in that they divided that into so many pieces and what is what they call it as full they drawn full of water may be something like an artifact of technology that is not possible even today Maybe what the call it as butter or a glue is not actually the cause leaf. Maybe it is some kind of an Ayurvedic potion. So many Ayurvedic potions are often called as butter. Butter literally means tree in English. So please, I am using some Ayurvedic potion. They might have created for the heart full womb, and so they will be giving cells in those womb which formed because of the cloning technology. may be existing in those days into the new infants a long time they attained to the state of adolescence and then grew to manhood who rama the elder son of sagara vitamanjasa used to seize hold of children and throw them into the river surayu when he saw them drowning in the river he rejoiced This evil doer grew up to impress the deep of his conduct. Remember, your Bhikkhu Mitra is indirectly giving a training related to the Rajatma, how a king is supposed to behave. Here, Kendra, knowing that Asamanjasa is the king, in spite of that, because of his bad conduct, will come out of the city. Citizens of King Sagara's capital exile the prince. So it is not exactly King Sagara; it is the citizens' choice that he is a troublemaker for all the citizens. So the citizens of King Sagara's capital exile the prince. But of course, naturally, at the order of the king, as passing judgment on him, Asamanjasa became the father of a valiant prince named Anshuman. Who was esteemed by everyone and addressed every man with courtesy. For a long time, King Sagara resolved to perform a sacrifice. O oh, Rama, the king, summoning the high priest, began the initiatory rites. Thus ended Chapter thirty-eight of Balakanda in Ramayana. In this part of the story, we have seen the story of Sagara having six. thousand sons and one son from his main queen and though he was supposed to be the heir to the throne but he still because of the way he was behaving he was thrown out of state namaste sharada devi kashmir puravasini tvam aham bhartaye nityam vidyadanancha dehi me bye